Well, this is Canada. <laughs> Iconic aircraft, famous in the world, designed and built in Canada. And the whole process of water bombing is a Canadian story, reaching these communities. Exploration, forest fires, taking people in and out of these remote communities. So, you know, the bush plane played such a role in the history of our country. I'm a retiree, have volunteered here for 15 years. I love the place, love the history, love the people that work here. I love meeting visitors that come from literally all over the world. It's a passion to a degree, but I, I certainly enjoy the experience. They built the original hangar in 1924. The planes got larger and eventually the hangar we're in here was built in 1948. You know, this is sort of a iconic place in Canadian history. There was a need for uh, Forest Fire Air Force <laughs> to be able to traverse the woodlands of uh, Northern Ontario. So the Ontario government created the Provincial Air Service. It was headquartered here in Sault Ste. Marie. The government started to buy water bombers in the 1980s. You couldn't get the water bombers through the doors. So this became obsolete, became a museum. The people here, the Provincial Air Service, flew the planes, would make suggestions to the manufacturers for improvement. The people here fell in love with what de Havilland produced, the most iconic bush plane ever built, the Beaver. But the Beaver, after World War II, uh, there was a need for a new bush plane. So de Havilland in Toronto basically designed the Beaver. The prototype flew in August of 1947. The Beaver behind me was the first one off the assembly line in Toronto in 1948. So this Beaver has serial number two. Prototype Beaver, serial number one, is in our National Museum in Ottawa. There's stories related to, to all the aircraft, but essentially it's a Canadian story. So this is the uh, birthplace of water bombing, as I said, in the world. Basically, if you can tell the stories, interest people, it's rather exciting when you're talking to people from literally all over the world. Being part of a fairly dynamic group here that are all interested in seeing this place succeed ties a lot of stories together. Exploration, forestry, fighting forest fires. You know, this is Canada a country that we should be very, very proud of. It's, it's really something to be part of uh, the history of our country here. So the pilot would look out the cockpit here to see how fast the plane is going. And then the cruising speed is up here, you know, in, in about 80, 90 miles an hour. And then it sort of tops out just over 100. So that's an early speedometer. <laughs> 